Hey everyone, in today's video we're talking about the pursuit of happiness when going through challenges like tinnitus and the tricky way our own expectations can set us up for disappointment. We often expect the ringing to just stop, to find that magical solution to silence it, but the hard truth is that the key in overcoming it comes from acceptance. In our search for happiness, we often set high expectations, sometimes without even realizing it. A perfect life, perfect relationships, perfect health. But I'm sure as many of you know, life is far from perfect. It's when these expectations aren't met that we find ourselves grappling with unhappiness. Expectations can create a gap, a gap between what is and what we think should be. And it's in this gap that discontentment brews. Tinnitus can be a tough journey filled with grief and despair. We find ourselves longing for silence and for control. But unfortunately, often what we resist persists. The more we focus on the ringing, the louder it seems. The reality is, if we constantly expect something to be different, such as the tinnitus sound, we are setting ourselves up to be constantly frustrated and disappointed, chasing something in the future rather than being okay in the now. Here's a thought. What if instead of fighting the ringing all the time, we learn to coexist with it, to find peace and contentment in our present, tinnitus and all? I understand how difficult this can be, especially in the early days or even months of experiencing tinnitus. It's a journey filled with so many doubts and struggles. There's the frustration of not finding a quick fix, the fear that it might never end, and the sheer exhaustion of it just constantly being there. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, to have days where it just feels like too much. Acceptance isn't about denying these feelings, it's about acknowledging them, giving yourself grace and understanding that it's a journey. As I've said before, acceptance also does not mean giving up. It means not letting our happiness hinge solely on the outcome. It's about finding joy and contentment in the now even amidst challenges. When we constantly set our sights on happiness as something to be achieved in the future, often tying it to external outcomes or milestones, we inadvertently create a perpetual state of waiting. We tell ourselves, I'll be happy when, when I find a cure for my tinnitus, when I get that job, when I reach that goal but this mindset keeps happiness perpetually just out of reach, always in the future, never in our present. The truth is, if our happiness is always anchored to something that we don't yet have or an event that hasn't happened, we deny ourselves the opportunity to feel joy in the here and now. We start believing that happiness is something to be chased rather than realized in our current experiences no matter how small they may be. So instead of constantly looking outward or forward for happiness, let's turn inward. Remember, with each passing day, you're learning more and more about coexisting with tinnitus. It's about finding those small moments of peace, those brief intervals of joy that are already a part of our lives and gradually they become more frequent. By shifting our focus from what we expect to achieve to what we already have, we allow ourselves to embrace happiness in its truest form, not as a distant goal, but as a present reality. Before we continue, I do want to share something with you. I'm considering creating a Patreon to offer more exclusive content and advice to those of you that might be looking for a bit more from our community on top of me continuing this YouTube channel. I'm also exploring the possibility of personalized one-on-one -on -one video or call sessions online. I have had many of you reach out to me wanting further support. So this could be for any of you seeking more direct and in-depth support from me, having lived experience with tinnitus, anxiety, OCD, and more, 
as well as a lot of knowledge around psychology. I also work as a support worker and so I have a lot of experience helping and supporting others. Sometimes it's just helpful to be able to speak to someone who gets it and can validate your experience. This isn't just about creating content for me, it's about dedicating more time to what I truly care about, helping and connecting with each of you. However, to keep doing this sustainably and to devote the time and resources it deserves, I do need to find a way to financially support these efforts and I would try to keep it as low cost as possible because I really do understand people's financial constraints. Your support would mean the world to me and would help ensure that I can continue this journey long term. If you're interested in either of these ideas or have any other suggestions, then please, please let me know in the comments. Your feedback is truly invaluable and I love hearing from each and every one of you and I would really appreciate it. Now let's get back to the video. Tinnitus is closely linked to the emotional center in our brain. This means that the way that we emotionally react to tinnitus can actually impact our perception of it. When we live in a state of constant fear and worry about the ringing, it can feel like it's taking over our lives. But as we start practicing acceptance, something remarkable does happen. Our fear and anxiety around the sound start to diminish. We begin to feel more regulated, more at peace, and as our emotional response changes, the tinnitus itself can change. The sound that once dominated our awareness can become softer and less intrusive. It can then begin to fade into the background of our consciousness and you will start hearing it less and less. By reducing the emotional weight and expectation that we give to our tinnitus experience, we can start to take away the power it has over us. Start with practices like mindfulness, embrace therapy, and seek support when needed. Let yourself grieve, but also allow yourself to hope. Find solace in the stories of others that have walked this path and found their peace. That is why I am on here making these videos. I want people to realize that there are so many people out there that are experiencing tinnitus sounds, which can also come and go, who are living happy, healthy, and normal lives all around you. I've always been surprised when I can go to a party or some event and I just find out that a few people there experience tinnitus and it just reminds you that we really aren't alone in this experience. As I've mentioned before, meditation can be a really powerful tool as it teaches us to be present with what is, not what we wish it to be. It's about acknowledging the ringing, but not letting it define our experience. Joy can be found in the simplest of moments, whether it's a sunrise, a good book, or a conversation. These moments are there, but we often miss them, waiting for something else, something that we expect to bring happiness. Living with tinnitus, or any other challenge for that matter, is not easy. But when we shift our focus from expectations to acceptance, we open ourselves up to the beauty of now, to a life of more contentment. If you're on this journey, know that you are not alone. There are many of us, each with our struggles, but also with our triumphs. Share your story and any of your victories in the comments and let's support each other. If you're struggling, start small. Practice being present, be kind to yourself, and remember that it's okay to seek help. Thank you for spending this time with me, and let's continue to embrace the now, to find happiness in the present, expectations aside. Please give this video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe to my channel for more content. I will see you in next week's video, where I'll be talking about how I have managed my anxiety when going through tinnitus spikes. Stay hopeful and I will see you soon.